Hello and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. I am Kay and this is Ruben and this is our spoiler free review for Netflix's original TV series The Innocents. So the arc in a very brief and spoiler free nutshell, a couple of teenagers June and Harry, each with their own set of challenging home and life circumstances, decide to run away together. Yes, they are in love and dream of starting a new life together and just as things are looking like their plan is going to succeed, they are hit with a very disturbing discovery. June is a shapeshifter. <laughs> As the story progresses, we are introduced to a whole host of characters, some nefarious and some well-meaning, and it can be hard to tell the difference. Mm. Who can they trust? They discover that June is not the only one, and there are other shifters, and perhaps a place where she can be safe as she learns to control a new power. Yep. Yeah. So the series' episodes run from the 40 minute mark to 55 minutes-ish. Um, there are only 8 episodes, which is true to a very British style of TV series, which is normally 6 to 8 episodes long. It's great to see some fresh faces grace our screens with the teenage leads played by Sorka Groundsell and Purcell Ascot, who have both done some TV uh, TV shorts. Then to have the backup of two veteran actors, Guy Pearce, who plays Dr. Halverston, and yeah. Sam Hazeldean, who plays June's dad, John. And that's to round up the cast. And I was particularly impressed by Ingen Oyen, who played Runa, and she did this amazing job of keeping us really slightly uncomfortable and unsure of her, her intentions. Uh, the, the series is beautifully shot and some of the locations are just breathtaking. There is a great contrast between the grimy bustle of London versus this idyllic tranquility of Sanctum in Norway, for example. There is, of course, the typical use of the slightly blue filter for the scene set in England, which seems to be the thing to do. Mm -hmm. But on the whole, I think it's filmed very thoughtfully with some interesting and brave shots yeah. finding their way into the final product. The pacing is a little odd. Yeah, the first episode and the last two episodes were right on the money pacing wise. But for the others we felt that whenever the story was following any characters other than the two teenagers, the pacing was great, the story moved forward and it was easy to watch. However, when we were just with the teenagers, the pacing was often very slow. Yeah, the editing had a different feel too, like we were being asked to really focus on them and what they were going through, which is fine, but sometimes it was frustrating because you just want, you want more story, but what you are getting seems like a little too much Romeo and Juliet, teenage angst. This might be a factor in whether or not this is a binge-worthy series. Yeah. Incidentally, according to IMDB that knows everything, uh, the writers of the series are pretty new to writing and this might account for some of the cringeworthy lines and the super long drawn out scenes. But again, it's so good to see Netflix giving people an opportunity to develop new skills. So what's it like? Hmm, it's a coming of age series that gets all dark and twisted by the uncovering of too many secrets and some really freaky biology. Speaking of which, the actual shifting has been done quite well. Mm -hmm. It does look believable and the way it is explained hinges on a sort of scientific explanation yeah. of genetic mutation passed through a particular Nordic bloodline. And that is all fine and good, but then how do you explain being able to see the reflection uh, of a person in the mirror inhabiting the body who he's shifted into? Is it science or is it magic? Let us know what you think it is after you've watched this. And I'm sure there must be more to it and maybe we'll find out if there's a second season. Despite the pacing issue, there is quite a lot of good in this series. The acting was very strong, we especially liked the scenes that took place in Norway and it felt like they created such interest in us that we always wanted to stay with that storyline and find out more yeah. about what's going on there. Yeah, although I did connect with the teenagers, I felt that I connected more and more strongly with the surrounding characters and that made it interesting to watch how all of their lives were affected by this unfolding drama and the writers did a good job of making everyone seem untrustworthy in some way and keeping you on edge yeah i didn't trust anybody no <laughs> all in all we liked it and we feel like the ending made up for the slowness in the middle mm. seriously i think you could cut a length of an entire episode or two without sacrificing any of the story that is so true so let us know what you think about this series in the comments below. And talking about the mystical and magical stuff, I'm actually releasing my first novel. There's going to be a link below if you want to find out more about it. When we release on the 21st of September, there is a two-day bit that we're doing where you can get it really cheaply. So do check that out. I'd love for you guys to have a look at it. And I've been working really hard on this for yeah. years. So it's a labor of love. My whole family has been involved in it, so do check that out. And as always, live, live long, long and Tuesday. Tuesday.